didn't know me. So after that movie, I called him up and I said, can you tell me more about yourself? And then he told me and I was inspired. Babe, I don't want to go through everything. You, have, you and I have been through a lot. It's been a lot of struggles. It's been a lot of breakups as well. Wow. <laughs> um, you've gone, I've gone. I've come back, you've come back. Wow. You are like a father to me, but my father is here and I love you, Daddy. I love you, Mommy. Aww. <laughs> but Frederick is, oh. Frederick is my best friend. Even though he can be very controlling. But Frederick loves me. I've seen you fight so many people for me. I've seen you say, I've seen people say, why not an Igbo girl? And I've seen you say, it is Peggy. And for that, my husband. Wow! Oh. Say it again! <laughs> I will love you. <laughs> I will learn to be a better woman. Mm. Babe, I will never be perfect. I will still fight you. <laughs> I will still protect you. I have protect you, protected you from the first day we met. When I met Freddie, Frederick was not this female that everybody know. Oh. But I see on the internet and everybody say, Peggy, you are lucky, Peggy, you are lucky. People don't know what I've been through. I have stood by the sea. But most importantly, I have met a man who says, Peggy, I will take care of you, be patient. Hmm. He promised me that he's going to spoil me. And Frederick has been spoiling me silly. And I just hope that this goes out to the internet. Every girl should be patient. Mm. I have been patient. <laughs> yes, mama. <laughs> I have always been a hard working woman. All my friends know. You you understand. Um but when I met Frederick, I saw a man that was willing to, to make money. I saw a man that is not a womanizer. Mm. And most importantly, that is why I stayed for this long period. Mm. Please don't change. Mm. Talk to me. Frederick is <laughs> one man I can beat my chest on, despite what everyone is saying, that he doesn't womanize. Sometimes I get on his nerves and he thinks that I'm taking him for granted. Maybe I'm not. I'm just a woman. We can be silly sometimes. <laughs> but I will love you. I will respect you. Mm. You will always be the crown on my head. Yes. You will be the man I ask for decisions before I make it. Mm. To everybody that you have fought my case for, God will fight your case for you. Amen. Thank you for waking up in the morning and saying, babe, let's pray. Mm. Frederick, as much as you look good, you make me want to love God the more. Mm. Frederick doesn't stop praying. Sometimes I feel bad that I don't pray enough. <laughs> Frederick wakes up in the morning, he prays. He wakes up at night, he's praying. And I said, this is a good man. And when I met Frederick Smartin, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> but then I looked at his future and I said, this guy is going to make it. Peggy stay. Until tomorrow, Frederick asked me, how did you know that I would get here? So to everybody, every young lady out there, if you have a guy that you like, you love him, he doesn't have money, please stay. Stay. Tell us again.